This is the film girly lifestyle. Welcome to it. I could not have procrastinated this longer, but I am finally sitting down to watch the Oppenheimer trailer. Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Courtney, you can call me Quartz, and it's Oppenheimer time. All I know is that I have been putting it off because I didn't know if I wanted spoilers or not for this movie before watching it. Oppenheimer is the latest film by Christopher Nolan, so if you're a Christopher Nolan girly like me, well, it's highly anticipated. <laughs> but I am excited for Oppenheimer, and it may or may not solely have to do with the fact that Killian Murphy is starring in it, but that's probably it. Written by Christopher Nolan, based on the book by Kai Bird and Martin Sherwin. It's a Pulitzer Prize Award winning novel with a long title that I can't pull from my head for some reason right now. As I mentioned, starring Killian Murphy, we have an ensemble cast, an ensemble cast meaning huge star-studded cast, Emily Blunt, Matt Damon, Robert Downey Jr., Florence Pugh, and Gary Oldman, just to name a few. If this is your first time to my channel, I just wanna say thank you so much for stopping by here. We review movies, we watch movie trailers, we talk about movies, we also work in film. This is the film girly lifestyle. Welcome to it. The last couple of weeks I haven't been working. Um, it's been very slow in the film world due to the WGA strike and the anticipated BGA strike, SAG strike, everybody striking. It's great. Otherwise I've just been struggling mentally. Uh, um, last week was not fun. This week is a bit better, but enough about me. Let's get back into it, because I've been dying to see this trailer, and I've been putting it off and off and off and off. Like this video, subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. I'm a growing creator. Drop a comment, leave a like, push. Push me into the algorithm. Before we jump into the trailer reaction, a quick summary of the film. The story of the American scientist uh, J. Robert Oppenheimer and his role in the development of the atomic bomb. It's giving, what's his name, Winchester, not Sam and Dean. <laughs> The guy, I think he was John. No, that's still supernatural. Hey boys. The guy who invented the Winchester gun, like he spoke highly about how he regretted inventing the gun because so many people had died from it in like, I don't know, Civil War or whatever. I feel like that's the same energy for this film. That's what I'm expecting. The same energy of Robert Oppenheimer regretting his involvement in creating the atomic bomb. This is the atomic bomb, like the one, like the, the Hiroshima one. Under my understanding, mad regrets from Killian Murphy slash J, J, J Robert Oppenheimer. <laughs> I've done my research. No, I, like I said, I've been trying to avoid spoilers. So with that being said, let's get into the trailer reaction. We were saying that this like poster design work is giving Inspector Gadget and it, it is, it definitely is. Like, I don't know what they were thinking. This is a national emergency. Okay. Detonator charge. Is that Josh Peck? <laughs> okay. Boom, bitch. From Christopher Nolan. Sans Hans Zimmer this time. Okay, we got some black and white footage here. And, race against the Nazis. and I know what it means. If the Nazis have a bomb. He's always so intense. Have a 12 month head start. Why am I whispering? How could you possibly? Fuck you, Matt Damon. <laughs> We've got one hope. All America's industrial might and scientific innovation connected here. Oh, I love old schooly science Secret stuff. It's so creepy. Keep everyone there until it's dark. Oh shit. Getting the barbed wire out. It's getting serious. Let's go recruit some scientists. All right, Matt Damon. Okay, so build they recruit. Town, build it fast. What is if this, don't like let a scientists home? bring their families, we'll never get the best. It's like a don't worry darling village. Why would we go to the middle of nowhere for who Good knows question. how long? Good question. Why? Why? Because you're going to blow some stuff this up. This is the most important thing to ever happen in the history of the world. In the history of the world. Oh, shit. Einstein! You're the great improviser, but this... I always forget he, like, didn't die that long you ago. You can't do it in your head. Are we saying there's a chance that when we push that button, we destroy the world? Yes, sir. Chances are near zero. Near zero. Near Very zero. possible today. What do you want from theory of law? Zero. Got a cigarette in hand. You can't, nice. you can't film this man without a cigarette. Okay. Okay. I'm getting very excited. This is a matter of life and death. I can perform this miracle. World War II would be over. Our boys would come home. 
happening, isn't it? Wow. The world will remember this day. Oh, yeah, they will. Our work here will ensure a peace mankind has never seen. Peace! Oh. That's funny. That's rich. Until somebody builds a bigger one. Unless someone builds a bigger one? What? You are the man who gave them the power to destroy themselves. Oh, the Florence Pugh. Not prepared. Wow. Hey. Give this man an Oscar already, Seven. all right? Six. Five. Four. Three. Truman needs to know what's next. Two. What's next? One. Spoilers, but I feel like there's an explosion. Okay, that was a nice, juicy, long three minute trailer, which I'm so happy I waited for. Coming out on my birthday, along with Barbie. So, to be released on July 21st, this is the first time that black and white film has been used in IMAX for film cameras for specific scenes. As we saw through the trailer, there were certain shots in black and white, and then color, and it's like there's, there's a lot going on. But the intention there is to explore perspectives. Um, in my research, I found that Christopher Nolan was actually writing the whole script in the first person. So I don't know. I feel like I tend to write in first person when I'm like thinking about writing, but in movies you're trying to show versus tell, so it's better to, you know, third person the entire perspective. <laughs> and he had said that the black and white films, or film or co coloring, represents objective black and white objective so more like the third person and then the color to be subjective perspective color scenes he's he's noted were the first person perspectives and the black and white one would maybe been how they would have seen everything unfold on film cameras back in the day with black and white being the only film available so that's really interesting and knowing that i'm going to go into this movie with completely different observations than I might have previously. Without knowing that, I just am like, what's happening? Like, I don't always put two and two together, but sometimes I do. Otherwise, people are alleging that Christopher Nolan was hinting to this being his next film in his previous film, Tenet. Let me know if you caught that. Let me know if it was even catchable. And let me know if I should watch Tenet. <laughs> I love Christopher Nolan. I think his writing is layered in so many different ways. But most of all, character-driven script. I think that Oppenheimer is going to give us that really juicy, rich feel of what it was like to be a person in that time with this power, inventing such a crucial, insane piece of our history, being the atomic bomb. Obviously, I am so excited for anything Killian Murphy does. I'm a huge Peaky Blinders fan, and it did take me a long time to get into, but if you haven't seen it, you absolutely need to watch it. You absolutely have to watch the first season because I know people like to say a lot and claim that there are perfect seasons of television, but I truly believe that season one to season six of Peaky Blinders is perfect television writing. That's a hill I'll die on. Okay. The biggest feeling that I got from the trailer was the sense of time passing and how every scene is just going to get closer and closer and closer to the disaster of Hiroshima, which I'm which is I'm I'm assuming maybe I just read that somewhere that this is what the film leads up to or involves. I'm ready for that. I'm ready for a big intense juicy movie. I'm really excited, but as I said, I didn't want to do too much research. I didn't want to see too many spoilers. I didn't want to have too many preconceived ideas about where this movie was going in terms of story. Um, I'm certain that cinematography and directing and writing will all come together because like I said, I'm a Christopher Nolan fan, so I'm going to enjoy it regardless. But Christopher Nolan, Killian Murphy, like <laughs> Can't go wrong. I don't have a lot of juicy tea or juicy fun facts for you, but if you have some for me, please leave them in the comments because I'm a huge dweeb and I love your fun movie facts. Last week I watched the Dune trailer um, when it came out, so go check out that video. Like this video, subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. I appreciate it so much and I appreciate you sharing your time watching this movie trailer with me. I'm gonna watch it again after this, so um, that's all I have to say. Okay, bye.